All right, perhaps we can get a better angle on this whole process. Uh, I know this is a little bit slightly off camera, but uh, this is much more pliable while it's got the heat applied to it. Go figure. Uh, but I'm going to try to do it right here and not have it touch the metal table. I believe the metal table sucked a lot of the heat out of it. And this is quite warm. So, uh, there's an idea. Come on, let go. It's trying to stick now. That's not good. I fear that may have taken too long. I don't know, but hopefully that camera angle is decent. So you can see I've got that pinched in there, hopefully having a nice sharp point. And you can see how I ran out of time and that started setting before I could really clamp that in appropriately. This side was much sharper, but I did it first. However, you can see how it really bows out on the left especially. So maybe this should be a two-step process rather than a single. I'm confident it has been enough time now. So let's unclamp it. You can see this definitely bows out. This side's all right. It didn't stick or anything like that. And it's very sharp. But I was playing around with the heat so much that that is just plain scorched. You can see the coloration change. And it does bunch up on the inside here. Because this material normally tries to be such that when you bend it, um, the center doesn't stretch or compress. And that's 50% in, doesn't stretch or compress. And then the uh, inside compresses by 50% and the outside stretches by 50%. So it makes for kind of an awkward little joint. It's still warm. But cool enough that it's set. 
So now, my favorite part of the entire process, as always, destructive dis testing. Oh, jeez. Now, here's the dent problem. I have no idea if it was the extreme angle, the aging of the material, or the uh, excessive heat that I had to apply. It made that so brittle. Looking at this, this isn't the first time this sign has uh, had vinyl applied to it. It's pretty old. As it was at least two different companies. So, this batch is pretty useless. But I did learn one thing. Heating that up, both sides at once, not so good. What I'm going to do next time is heat up just one side, clamp it in here, get it set, get it good. After it's cooled down, I'll set it into the line benders again. Heat up the other one, and bring it back into the jig, and then form it against that with the uh, one side applying pressure, having it perfectly positioned. So, uh, I was hoping to make it a bit quicker of a process. Not going to happen. That's what experimentation is for, that's what you learn from. So, I'm going to get a bit fresher sample, try it again, and do it one side at a time, and hopefully get somewhere. You know what? I have some uh, brand new material that's clear, about a sixteenth of an inch thick. Let's play with that.